we start to see the impact of climate change to more and more people around the world and it's in particular the world's poorest who are the most impacted by climate change. What does that mean out of your perspective? Because the world is now controlled by transnational corporations and most politicians collide with transnational corporations and international corporations have main motive is greed. They want more profit, they want more money at any expense. Hence, nature is destroyed, the poor suffer so much, and yet they say the poor should sacrifice for development, for globalization. I think this is hypocrisy. I think if people are serious, they should examine their thoughts that this way of development is suicidal. It's not only for this generation, but for generations to come. And not only the poor are going to suffer, even the rich will also suffer. I think it's about time to think deeply and not only using your brain, examine your heart, about time, the people should have time to pray, that may be an old-fashioned, meditate. Regarding the most important element in our life is breathing, not thinking. When you breathe in mindfully, breathe in peace, happiness, you can restructure your consciousness then perhaps your view will no longer be a wrong view. Once it has a right view, it means that what you, whatever you do, it will go beyond your ego, beyond your nation state, beyond your self-interest, to serve all sentient beings. I think only with that, you can really change the present trend. We can really cope with climate change, you can also work for social justice, care for peace, inner peace, as well as peace in society. So if we are about to solve the climate crisis, the change has to start with individuals from within? Yes, the change must start within the heart. The Dalai Lama said, world peace will not be possible unless each of us cultivate peace within. This is the most difficult task, but it is the only way. We have meditated on that. Because so far, you know, we use violence, we use trick, advertisement, DNPEs and all that. I think we must throw away all this garbage and cultivate peace. And peace within, with good friends, thinking together, we can build up peace outside. And real peace, it, it means environmental balance, it means social justice, non-violent We used to divide the world into a developed and a developing world. If I hear you talking, I think there is some rethinking needed of these concepts when we have peoples on this planet who showed that they can live for tens of thousands of years on this planet Earth without destroying the system that supports them. Yes, the underdeveloped and developed is a cliche to brainwash other people, to catch up with the Americans. Are the Americans happy? Even the rich Americans. And the Americans build more and more jails more and more suffering. I think we have to think seriously, deeply, and not only think with your head, but also think with your heart. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.